Esther, Evelyn, Eliana. Say hi, girls. <laughs> you guys are so cute. So today is a very special day, guy fam, because today's the day that we find out if Esther, Evelyn, and Eliana truly are identical triplets. So we know for a fact that Evelyn and Esther are 100% identical. Their doctor confirmed it upon birth hey because they did have a little bit of twin to twin transfusion. They did. And so yeah. the doctor said they're 100% identical. The only one that wasn't always 100% sure was Eliana. Yeah. But today, that's gonna change. They do seriously look all alike, but we can obviously tell them apart. Yeah, so I mean, everyone that we've talked to and everyone that's seen them yeah. assumes that they're But identical. we still, we haven't done a DNA test on all of them. We've been wanting to do it for so long. Yep, and so, so today we different. find out, shout out to Circle DNA for sponsoring this video. They have the world's most comprehensive DNA test. They're 99.9% .9 analytically accurate. And so now, we're gonna finally find out if all three girls are identical. I think that's Esther and Eliana. And the Esther, and Eliana. So now comes the challenge of trying to get them to sit still to swab their cheeks and send the test. And for in. those that you that don't know us, this is me, our oldest, uh -huh, Amelia. Five years old. Yep, You're five she's years five. old. Good job. She's a smart, really smart girl. And that's Sammy. Yes. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi. Yeah, Hi. and I know. And I can and tell the triplets apart. Yeah, you can. Yes, You're so can smart. Tell them apart. And then after me and Sammy are the triplets that are. This is Evelyn. And then there's Esther and Eliana that Hi, are Esther, two Eliana. years old. Yeah, They're two. Oh, and then wow. this over here that's walking. She just started walking. That's Leia. She Leia, just hi. Leia's one in four months. And then over here is little Ezra. He's four months. Little man. Hi, cute. You have something to say, Sammy? Yeah. What's up? Uh oh, Leia stole the milk from the shopping cart. Hey guys, oh, you no. can share. Look, she's running away with it. <laughs> you guys have to share. Leia wants to play with you. Okay, guys, you want to take your DNA tests? You guys want to play a game? <laughs> That's something I never thought I'd say to my two year old. So we can play a game where it's going to be a cool Yeah, guys, party. we're going to play a game. Guess what? It's going to be a cool, game cool, night. fun game. It's game night. Yeah, it's game okay, night where right we now. swab the, the triplets' cheeks and put the swab in a vial and send it <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do one at a time to try to keep things under control. The so Circle first, Premium DNA Collection Kit. Is Esther. It's wow, look at, that Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Guys, hold on, hold on. Mama has to open it, okay? What's inside of it? What's that say? What? Say hello to you. Hello. Esther, say hello to yourself. Cool. <laughs> say All right, hello. Let's... Hello. 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 Okay, you guys, you guys can't touch it, okay? Can't touch it. Hold on. So there it is, DNA collection kit. Ooh, I should color this about is it, that. the bottom part. I should color about that. Let's break that open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. register this kit. Okay, so you gotta download an app. Wow, this is high tech stuff. Cool. Game, we are playing game. Now. Okay, this is actually so cool. It's super fun. Are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. You find out about your There's DNA? Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on, Eliana. Out about her DNA. Yeah. It's fine because if we do something with one, then the other two automatically like want it done to them too. Like they okay, always so want to be involved steps? with each other. So what are the steps, honey? Oh, right here. Remove swab. Rub the swab inside your mouth against your cheeks ten times. Repeat on the other side. Place into place the swab into the tube and break the stick at the score point in the middle. Okay. Screw on top. Uh, screw on cap back onto the tube and shake 10 times to cover the swab tip completely with the liquid inside the tube. All right, simple okay. enough. And then after we just put it in the baggie and then we actually have to put it back in here. We ship it back in here. All right, no problem. Okay. So it says it'll come back, what was it, like 10 to 18 days? I think 18 days. 18 days. 18 so days. I don't think you guys need to see us do the test on Evelyn and Eliana as well. It'll be just be the same thing. We'll do their swabs, send them in, and we'll see you guys in up to 18 days. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, guys. Tell them we'll see you in the future. Let's finish this. Bye. Bye. Aww. Okay, guys. So it's now been up to 18 business days later, and all the DNA results have come in for Esther, Evelyn, and Eliana. So yep, we're super excited. Here we have all our phones and iPads. So we put, we downloaded the Circle DNA app on each one. And now we're going to see the results for 
all three of the girls. We have not looked at these, so. Yeah, we, we waited for this. So here we have Esther, Evelyn, Eliana's. Woo, this is, <laughs> congratulations, your DNA results are ready, so. I guess uh, we wanted to do this with you guys. So at the same time, we'll just press view results. Ready? Should I press it? Yeah, let's go. Wow. Okay. Oh, so, this is so okay. There it is. You got diet, sports and fitness, ancestry, personality traits, family, family planning, planning, early detection, disease and, and health and disease, precision medicine. Wow. There's and so cancer many. risk. So I think the first thing that we're curious to see is, let's go with the ancestry composition. Okay, so go to all of theirs. Ancestry composition, boom. Wow, okay, so 95% European. Wait, 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 let's look at all three of them, <laughs> hold on. Okay, this is Esther, Devlin, Liana. Um... So all three of them are 95% European. So let's see where from Europe. The percentage is Eliana's. So that's 43% Eastern European. So we are Romanian. Okay, so 43, then 43, 43, 39% yeah. Southern European, 12% Northern European. This is, okay, this next one is crazy. 4% Middle Eastern? Dang, okay. 4% Middle Eastern, wow. And African, zero. And then African, Asian, That's East Asian, South Asian, Southeast Asian is all zero, zero, yeah, zero, all zero. zero. So we're 95%, the triplets are 95% yep. European and 4% Middle Eastern. And it's crazy. That's cool. They're all almost exactly the same. So Esther is 95.63, Evelyn 95.63. It's the same. And then Eliana 95.21. Yeah. And then Esther for Middle Eastern, 4.37. Evelyn, 4.37. Eliana, 4.79. The interesting, thing, the interesting thing is we know that Esther and, and Evelyn, Evelyn are 100% identical. But Eliana, we were, it was never confirmed. But I mean, still, the percentage is the exact same, just the yeah. 0.21 and 0.79 is Very a little bit close. off. Okay, so next, genetic blueprint, their personality traits. Where is that, where are you looking at? Go down. So, agreeableness, all three likely balanced. That's They're a long word. Likely, easygoing, and flexible. flexible. All the same. All the same. And then extroversion. Likely balanced, all the same. Neuroticism. Likely balanced, all the same. And then openness. Likely balanced, all the same. So so far, seems pretty identical to me. Okay. Okay, next. Let's go to sports and fitness. Ah. Okay. So optimal sports types for all three. High power, low endurance, high strength. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> and then optimal training type for all three. High power, low endurance, high strength. And then the risk of... This is so interesting. It, it tells you your risk of Achilles tendon injury. Very low for all three. Very low. And then their blood flow is all normal. Yep. And then body composition. Increased, Increased lean, lean body, body mass. mass. Oh, that's good. Increased lean body mass. That probably comes from you. Because yeah. most of the people in her family are leaner than, uh, than my family. Huh. You're so funny. Injury risk. Elevated risk for injury. Okay, let's see what that's about. Injury elevated risk. risk for injury. All three say they have an elevated risk. Huh. Based on your genetic results, you have an elevated risk for sports-related soft tissue injury. I, I mean, they were all, since they were triplets, they were all born premature. Maybe that has to do with that. I don't know. But Ileana did, um, um, if you guys are with us for a while, Ileana did actually uh, break her leg like a few months ago when I was pregnant with Ezra. But this is actually, I feel like they get this from me because it says here that remember to focus on stretching, in particular your lower body, ankles, and knee joints. I have very weak ankles and I tore my meniscus in my right knee and um, like I've always had bad knees so they definitely get this from me power capacity high high they're strong uh, high strength profile high high recovery high. efficiency normal 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 water loss average 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 I mean as far as sports and fitness goes they are all identical in case any of you guys are wondering uh, the triplets have all been napping this whole time we well, tried 
Yeah, Leia, Leia's napping and the triplets are napping and Ezra's actually napping right here in his bassinet. So they were tired anyway, they woke up early, just put them for a nap and... So, now we're gonna go to the summary, the re report summary, just to see everything all together. All three of them are, they have seven higher sensitivities as far as their diet goes. Are at normal sensitivity. So oh, okay. three are at normal sensitivity, seven are at higher for so they have a carbohydrate sensitivity, sensitivity fat, fat sensitivity, sensitivity, caffeine sensitivity, I mean, taste sensitivity, it. celiac predisposition, lactose intolerant, and spice sensitivity. Wow. So they're sensitive to spice and they're lactose intolerant. Nutritional needs. Oh, there's more. 15 are at normal needs. Five are at higher needs. Oh, so they are at a higher need for vitamin A, B6, vitamin D, magnesium, and iodine. Are oh, hers wow. the same? Yeah. yeah. Exactly well, I actually, we actually do give them vitamin D too, and I know it also helps if they go outside. <laughs> this is so funny. From the sun. Good. So at their well-being, it says lower appetite control. That is so true. These girls do not know when to stop eating. Lower they will just, appetite control. They will just eat and eat and eat. That's so true. I'm telling you, they're not like chubby. But they're not like super. Yeah, they they eat so much. So much. Esther, Evelyn, and Eliana, they sometimes eat more than me and Sammy, sometimes eat more than Leia. Leia's chubby, she eats a lot. She eats a lot too. I guess all of our kids eat a lot. Dude, none of these have been different. Let's see. For all Should three of them, it? their optimal sleep is less than seven hours per night. That's true. That's, I mean, yeah. Sure. Um, they sometimes eat a little longer, but. And they have high stress tolerance. Seven hours per night. They actually sleep longer than seven hours sometimes, but sensitivity to pollution. Oh, this you guys is pretty nice. So it says for skin sensitivity, they are at a higher risk for cellulite formation and skin bruising tendencies. Where are you looking at? Go a little bit lower. And that's true because oh. I mean they fight a lot and they bite each other a lot and they do seem to bruise pretty. They actually easily. stopped a bit with the biting. Have you noticed recently they haven't been biting each other that much? That's true, actually. Yeah, they haven't been. Yeah, they, they're, they they're actually getting better on that, but they did bite each other a lot. And every time they did bite each other, you'd get bad bruises from that. Yeah, they used to go all out. I mean, they're always together. They fight over toys and fight over everything, basically. They're opto so then here in optimal sports and training, it says considering, consider the following. Sprint cycling, jumping sports, gymnastics. Exactly the same. What do you think, Sammy? I like it. Sprint cycling, <laughs> jumping sports. What is it, buddy? I like Okay, in a Ooh, little bit, enough. okay? We're almost done. We're almost done, okay? okay. Wanna go play with your cars and trucks? Uh -huh. Okay, cute. And so now looking at their success traits. They're, they're all exactly the same. Creativity, four stars. Language ability, four stars. Mathematical skills, four stars. Esther, Evelyn, and, and Eliana are all the same. That is, wow. Some good genes, tell you what. <laughs> I think the max you can get is six stars, right? Five or six, I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah, but, but I mean, they all have four. That's actually pretty good. They all have normal dance ability and normal musical ability. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is interesting. Behavioral traits. Let's go to the behavioral traits. Did you go back? Yeah, I did go to the report summary. Okay. And then go down to behavioral traits. This is this is interesting. <clears throat> Obsessions with washing and cleaning, less likely. Well, they must have got that from me. Wait, I'm not an Right there. Obsessions oh. with washing and cleaning. What? That is so funny. That means they're not really obsessed with cleaning. Or... Yeah, but then it also is less likely for smoking addiction, alcohol addiction, food addiction, and altruism. So, so that's definitely... good. That means like they won't want. Yeah, they don't have like an addictive personality. They won't want like any of that stuff, yeah. If you go down to gender traits, it says less likely, less likely a thrill seeker. But I mean, everything so far has been exactly the same. Cancer risks. Yeah, so it says they, they have, and it's the same one for all of them. A like cancer causing, causing mutation, mutation was, was detected. detected in. Huh. So they have one. But yeah, I mean, it's all the same one for all of them. So I mean, everything so far has indicated that they are indeed identical. Oh, I can't click on that. For the disease risk, it says here the average risk for 61, and then three are at an elevated risk. And for all three, it's um, high cholesterol, a IgA deficiency, and hyper 
I'm not even gonna attempt that Hyper word. That's trill. <laughs> Hypertrigliceridemia. Yeah, <laughs> so that's all the same. All right, guys, so off camera, we went through every single metric, and we have come to the conclusion that Esther, Evelyn, and Eliana are identical. So keep in mind, I don't know if I mentioned this, but circle DNA kits are 99.9% .9 analytically accurate. Yes. And with that in mind, Every single metric that we looked through was the same. Their ancestry, their personality traits, behavioral traits, even their physical traits, yep. their cancer risks, their health and disease risks, their drug response. Literally everything was the same. They're all three 95% European, 4.37% uh, Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Eliana was like 0.1% different. But I mean, I mean, everything is the same. Yeah. Nutrition, their well-being. I mean. And we made sure to swab all of their cheeks individually. Obviously, they have their own personality. They are all three different humans. They're different. Yeah. Yeah. They're little girls. They're all different in their own ways, of course. But um, this proves to us that they are identical, since everything on here was exactly the same, which is crazy that we have identical triplets. We kind of always knew that they were identical. Mm -hmm. We just wanted it to be confirmed. So now we know for sure that Eliana is identical with Esther and Evelyn. So all three of them are identical. If you guys want to get to know more about your guys' kids or yourselves, this would be an amazing opportunity for you guys if you guys want to do that. Uh, we're really glad we did it. Eventually, we want to do it for ourselves. That would be really yeah. cool. So huge thank you to Circle DNA for sending us these kits. They're currently offering 33% off all their DNA kits. Mm -hmm. So click the link in the, in the description to get your own tests. Thank you Circle DNA for sponsoring thank us. Thank you guys. It's definitely worth it.